Welcome to Crashing with Friends podcast. I'm your host, Jackson Brayman. With me always is Connor Hobbs. What's up? Kyle Hobbs. No! And our guest today, <laughs> David Lindsay. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into it today. Kyle. It's a hot one, Jackson. <laughs> it's real hot. It's, it's real so hot. hot. It's real bright, too. <laughs> it's so hot. The sun, the sun's closer than it usually is. Connor, how hot is it? Scorching hot. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. <laughs> so hot. Yeah. There's some old lady in Texas that baked a bread in her mailbox. A single bread. Hell yeah. yeah she was baking bread in her mailbox. It was so fucking hot. That's hot. It's so hot, man. So hot. That's why we're all wearing shirts. Whoa! Just bleep oh, it man. out. Just bleep it out. <laughs> Just bleep it out. We're wearing yeah. beep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna think that we're will- wearing dilders or something. <laughs> That's what we want them to think. Oh, Jackson, you can't help yourself. <laughs> so I completely forgot already, man. I didn't know we were it's gonna make good. it a thing that it we were gonna. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, this week, dude, I got my teeth cleaned at the dentist office. My de- it was my. Yearly a six month checkup. Yes, and you were perfect in every way. Perfect in every way. They nice. referenced me getting braces multiple times, and uh, I vehemently refused to get metal brackets. So uh, if that's the case, I'll never have them. And then maybe someday they'll be able to just magically move them. Would you get a grill if they offered? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Right on. I would, but uh, I wouldn't get a grill, but I would get like a. Uh, like one gold tooth or something like that. Like, like the dude from Home Alone. Yeah. Okay. I'd get one gold tooth. Yeah. That'd be cool, man. Wild. Would you get like an initial on it or like a diamond in it or like nah, a, just, just straight straight gold. gold, man? Like I don't need to get gold's already fancy. Yeah. 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 Gold that is being already so, fancy. Well, I gotta look out for leprechauns because. Like they go crazy whenever they see gold. I've seen one of one of the Leprechaun movies. There's a dude that's got a gold tooth, and he's like, "Ah, give me that!" <laughs> and he just rips it out of his mouth. Yeah, that's the move. Mm-hmm. What's that? that what's that you, guy's Kyle? name? Warwick they... Davis. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Dude's fantastic. <laughs> sure he is. Um, but yeah, shiny teeth. You know, shiny teeth to me. Yeah, shiny teeth. Shiny teeth. Shiny teeth Shiny. that sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, was laying in bed. It was like Wednesday night. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 1230 at night, dude. And you're hard. You just couldn't go to sleep. So hard. <laughs> no. Um, it was, we were, it had, there was like a big storm going down, dude. And, uh, like thunder, lightning, Stuff like that. A real storm. A Not, real storm. Yeah. But that didn't wake me up, dude. I, I got woke up to, I thought it was my alarm going off, and it wasn't. It was someone calling me at 1230 at night, and I answer the phone, and a voice goes, <laughs> they whisper, do you know where your son's at? <laughs> is, that is that the neighbor kid again? No fucking clue. It's so gotta be I'm the like, neighbor kid. I'm like... <laughs> I laugh. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> and then we go to again. They go, do you know where your son's at? And I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and I hear like what seems like another kid in the background. He's like, man, come on, shut the fuck up, dude. And that instantly made me flash back. I instantly go into like defend my house mode. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I have a, f- I'm like, okay, who is this? And then I think maybe it's one of Anakin's friends. Because it sounded like a kid that was in one of Anakin's Discord chats. So Anakin was playing Call of Duty or something with his friends on Discord. And I get in the chat, like I put the headphones on just to hear him say some weird stuff. And within like a second, one of them asked the other kid, hey man, have you ever vaped before? <laughs> 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 hey man. The other kid's like, yeah man. <laughs> like what? 
within a second I put the headphones on. I was like, wow, I couldn't have caught these kids doing anything worse. But oh my God. Um, it sounded like one of those kids, man. What's up? Oh, I was just going to say, when I was about that age, I would cop the shit that I never did all the time. Like when oh, I was yeah. like 12, 13 years old, I'd be like, yep, yeah, man. I you guys remember cigarettes. how I used to like lie to you about bullshit all the time? Like <laughs> when I lived in California? No, how would, I, how would we know you're lying? <laughs> well, you fa- I mean, you like, remember I told you that, that uh, Ryan Sheckler got beat up at the skate park? And it was on Thrasher. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like at the Vans Park when it happened. <laughs> I, I was there, bro. Off, and like, dude. I told you P Rod beat him up. <laughs> I don't remember that at all, man. And then you guys, you guys call me back, and you're like, "Dude, we looked through every Thrasher cover ever, and it was not any of those." <laughs> then I got back, I got moved back from California, and I told you guys like a year later, and I was like, "Yeah, it was total, totally bullshit." And they're like, oh "You guys God. were like, we knew that." <laughs> okay, yeah. it's okay, David. You yeah, know, it's yeah. all right. We forgive I, you. I lied to be cool, man. Hey, man, who doesn't do that? But uh. So I went to Anakin's room and he's playing at he's playing games at like twelve thirty at night. So I go in there and he's playing Fortnite with the, some kids and I'm like, Anakin, what the heck, dude? I just had someone call me and they're like, "Is your son home?" And he's instantly freaks out. He's like, "What? What?" And he, <laughs> I tell him I'm like, "Dude, get off the game, man." I was like, "I don't know what's going on, but get off the game." And he's like, "Dad, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on." So he hops in bed. And I go get back in bed. So I'm like, I get, I get up for work in like three or four hours, you know, four or five hours. And I get back in bed. My wife gets up to go to the bathroom, but Anakin doesn't know that. So he hears the ground creaking. He instantly, dude, <laughs> goes into a terror in his room. Like, hold on, man. Oh, my, hold on, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is, uh, how did this happen? How did this happen? He's like, oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God. Just crap. being a, just 11-year-old man and. We should prank him. He was up for like an hour and a half that night. Every time he heard something outside, he freaked out and was just like, my wife had to stay up with him all night. Oh, my God. He was terrorized, man. Do you think he was getting swatted or something? Who knows? I have no idea. He was just freaking out. He was worried someone was going to get at us. I'll I'll stay in town till like midnight, 1 a.m., and I'll just, I'll like creep outside his window and just... (laughs) (laughs) What's your favorite scary movie? (laughs) All all you guys... All you and Rachel have to do is just be like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> we did that with uh, Michael Myers. Remember that? Do you remember that? I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I, he's deathly afraid of Michael Myers. And we had one of our friends <laughs> come up and hide behind a tree. And oh, there was yeah. a knock on the door. And he came up to the front door. And he was just staying there. And Anakin freaked out, dude. <laughs> It was, it, was, it was prime parenting right there. It was great. But uh, other than that, man, I went and saw Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one. It was freaking awesome, dude. dude. I would give it like a 10 out of 10 for real. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the coolest twists in a movie. I mean, that's Mission Impossible for you. Just twist after twist after twist. But twist. yeah, it's, it's fantastic, man. I loved every second of it. Um, some great... Acting done by Rebecca Ferguson. I'm just like really into her right now. She's my Florence Pugh. Mm. Who did? She was great. In, she was great in Silo. Yeah, Dude. and she's also Lady Rebecca in or Lady Jessica. God, mm-hmm. in uh, the new Dune movies. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I, I really, really, really dig that chick. Did you look at her? No. Oh, okay, That's cool. cool. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it, man. There That's was. Cool. Um, did you feel like the mission truly was impossible this time? Was it really legit? There was some stuff that was pretty impossible. Yeah, was it more impossible than the new um, what was the, the Maverick movie? What's it called? Uh, Top Gun Maverick. Was it more impossible than that mission? Because that was a pretty impossible mission. Um, it was way more impossible. It was impossible. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like this movie way more than Top Gun Maverick, but um. I like Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, I love Top Gun Maverick. I love it, Connor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, He loved it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to spoil it because it's fantastic. I don't want um, you to spoil it. I really don't even want to hear you guys talk about it. Yeah, I don't, it's good. And I don't want it. to say anything that happened in it. It's, it's great. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That's all I want to say. And that's how my week's been. Over to you, Connor. Could you give it a new title? 
playing on the Dead Reckoning? Um, like if we had to rename the movie, what would we name yes, it? Yeah. Okay, I would name it uh, Mission Impossible. Entity hiding. In titty hiding? Entity hiding. <laughs> uh, no. Something playing off Ghost again. I'll, I'll, I'll just make it corny as shit. I'd be like, Mission Impossible, Computer Gods Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we'll say. Com- yeah, Mission Impossible, Computer Gods. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it sounds like it's got a similar Digital theme. Digital Zeus. Part one. <laughs> Digital Zeus. I'll call it Digital Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a similar theme to what happens in uh, later Metal Gear games with AI, most mm. likely. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's not a talkative AI, which was refreshing. I don't want it to talk to me. I just want it to kill me, you know? Exactly. It was it was, it was cool. It was don't cool. gloat about it. But uh, that's been a week. Over to you, Connor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this week with the week, uh, I'm over here. Um, it was good. It uh, started off pretty well with uh, MMA fights. Enjoyed that. Um, followed by the next morning, or I don't know if it was the yeah, I think it was the morning. Uh, watching that F1 race, that was pretty cool. Watching Lando take second. Uh, Hamilton got third, and then. Piastri got fourth, I want to say, right? Something. something. Like Who's something? Did you get a chance uh, to watch it? No, no, no. I missed the last two, I think, mm. which is unfortunate. Uh, it would have been cool to watch Lando Norris finally podium. Yeah. Like <laughs> McLaren just got a bunch of upgrades, oh, and they, they actually look legit finally. So nice. it's been like over a year since they've looked good. But uh, yeah, it was it was a good race. Um, played some disc golf. Uh, won a couple rounds, one that maybe I shouldn't have, and then one that I feel like I did. I definitely should have won the round. But, yeah, it's felt good getting my sidearms down and, you know, um, putting as well, putting with confidence, putting a lot more spin on the on the disc. I think that's really helping. I switched from a uh, push putt to just pretty much just a straight-up spin putt at this point, you know. And uh, also going in with just a faster mindset, just not trying to set up for days, just going in there and hitting it. So mm-hmm. it's been uh, it's been pretty fun just going out there and playing. And you know, it's a little hot and sweaty, but it's worth it in the summer to get out there. I think you know, just got to do some bug spray. But yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I'm um, also watching the new hit show on Netflix. Everybody's watching. Which one's that? I might be watching it, but which one are you talking about? Quarterback? <laughs> Hack my home. Hack my home. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched one episode, but that's how I got the intro uh, for me walking down the stairs this week. There's this dude in there in the first episode, and he's just like walking around like this the whole time. <laughs> just like, oh my God. It's like, I had to make fun of it. Um, what is What is it about? Is it like people try to hack your home, or, or is uh, it like people making your home like a more or less families hire this group of people that will change an entire space? Like it starts off with uh, this couple's basement. Um, pretty much, the husband is using it as like a, a work office, but the kids also need to play because it was like during COVID, I think. And uh, so they were in the living room. They needed more space, so they like pretty much transformed the entire basement. And they oh, so it's like big life hacks in your home. Yeah, okay. they've got like these. They put up some walls, but they also have like these other walls that will expand. Like there's like a a bookcase that opens and it opens up into like the husband's office, which is like an adult themed room. But then like he clicks a button and it opens up a wall that turns into his office. So whenever he needs it, he can. He can shut it off, and then he can have you know, adults in there and have a, a cocktail or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it, it's one of those shows where like I watched the first episode and I know from now on, I'm just going to skip to like the last 10 minutes and see what they did. You know? Cause it's like, you know, the show's really not for me, but I do kind of like to see what the hacks are. Um, mm. But yeah, that was just a joke. Um, Quarterback is the real show I've been watching. Like Jackson said, <laughs> that is the hit new show that's on Netflix. That's just gonna probably blow you away. Um, yeah, I finished all of it today. You did. I'm like four or five episodes in, and dude, I gotta say, I really enjoy like 
the Kirk Cousins and the Marcus Mariota stuff. I, yep. I didn't know if I would like it. It turns out I really do. And, of course, I love the Patrick Mahomes stuff. Yeah. If, so. I, like, if I didn't love Patrick Mahomes enough already, like, yeah, it definitely gets amplified in this show. So Yeah. It's pretty much Drive to Survive, but more focused because it's only three athletes. And I think it's probably a little bit better, but I don't know. But, uh, yeah, um, check it out. It's pretty good. Hey, what about Foundation? Did you check that out today? Dude, I watched it, yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. Did, <laughs> the beginning, when uh, Homeboy does that thing with that girl, were you thinking, like, the Austin Powers falling off the building <laughs> scene? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, my mind went to that, but you'll, you'd have to watch it to see it. Are you talking, oh, about, wow. the, are you talking about the, why won't you die? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> you won't win this, Powers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cause yeah, doesn't it start off like he like turns her around and then takes the knife to the back, right? Isn't that the first step of that? I think so. Yeah. And then yeah, it just keeps escalating. So yeah, it's kind of like that. But uh, okay, I really enjoy Foundation, man. Like it's it's sci-fi at its best, and it's Apple crazy. Uh, but yeah, just really excited for the new season. It, so far, it started with a bang, in my opinion. You know, a lot of new stuff is happening it fast forwards like almost 150 years into the future from the uh first season and you're already like oh man things are changing like this stuff wasn't here last time um, Dude, i was gonna say you i remember you describing that show last year at some point and then i saw a trailer for season two today and was like that does not look like foundation at all what was from what connor described it to me as so it it makes sense that they jumped or yeah, right. yeah. It looks really cool though. It's it's definitely a really cool sci fi show. If you've got Apple or even just thinking about getting Apple, that's like high on the list for sure. Now I don't know if I asked this already, but can you get Apple T V on any device or is it just Apple products? Um on Apple products you can download the apps and stuff like that, but like on Android you have to go through the browser, I believe. That's the way I've watched it on my phone is through the browser. Uh, but like on my PS five yeah, there's a there's an Apple TV app on okay, like cool. Roku, all that crap. You know, there's a couple shows on there that Mandy's been like wanting to watch too. So <laughs> I usually just watch it on my PC. All yeah. right, quickly, what are the shows on Apple that he needs to watch? Ted Lasso for sure. For all mankind. For all, for all mankind. Invasion. Invasion. Foundation. And then um, God. Silo. Um, uh, what's the one with the one we all loved last year? Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Severance. Severance. Severance, Severance. Severance. Severance is number is one. Number one. Severance is number Severance fucking is one. The best. Number fucking one. <laughs> number fucking one, man. Right on. It's yeah, so good. It's pretty good. It's I loved good. it. It is pretty good. Silo was really good, too. But really, my favorite of all these shows is uh, For All Mankind. Because that was the first one of these shows I watched on. It's Apple got three TV. seasons that, out. That's like a alter, that alternate history one, right? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. if the Russians. See, got I'm to into the moon. that shit too. I'd be. Yeah. If the Russians got to the moon first. Yeah. yeah, that's a time progression type show. Every yeah. couple episodes, like, oh, we're sixty years in the future. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. I love they're on the moon. I really like <laughs> alternate history stuff. I'm really like kind of pissed off that there was so much backlash whenever uh, those dudes from Game of Thrones were making that. What was it called? It was like, was it called Confederate or something like that? Yeah. It was basically going to be like, what would have happened if the South won? They, they got kicked the off like two projects because of Game of Thrones. I'm like, dude, they, they gave us seven fantastic seasons and then one poo-poo season and everyone hates them now. It's just like, mm-hmm. the poo-poo season is like the one they really needed to stick yeah. though. Well, season yeah. seven was half poo-poo. And then but. you can also argue that all the good stuff was stuff that was written in books and they just adapted it and then the stuff yeah. that they had to make was not as good. But in my opinion, I really did like the last season. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't to a me, bad it was season just the of final two episodes, really. Like I, have, yeah. I have a good TV, and I don't know. I don't know if it's good in these modern, this modern era that we live in. But when the, the episodes came out and that super dark episode mm-hmm. came out, I could see everything just fine. Yeah. And then the next it day, everybody really complained. Like everybody's like, it was too dark. I uh, that's what see I thought. Anything. I was like, I don't, well, I don't know what you're it. talking about. I man. saw everything. Right. To yeah. me, it added to the, the intensity of that's it. What it. Yeah, exactly. I, like, I actually just finished the second book again. And I'm actually more inclined to believe that Daenerys would actually do that to King's Landing when she got there because of all the shit that she has to go through to finally get there and then see it. And it's. And she burns you know, multiple people. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All those Jeez. Dothraki, yeah. Um, the slave master dude, Dracarys. 
yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the warlock or whatever the hell his name was Piat Pri or whatever with the blue lips <laughs> <laughs> she burned Sam's brother and father that's his name right Sam oh yeah 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 Tarly yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam Tarly yeah. the spider oh right? god don't remind me yeah so it all makes sense she's she likes burning shit she's a pyro yeah. definitely a flamer yeah definitely a flamer yeah that, did you yeah. watch House of the Dragon? Yeah. That yeah, was like my that favorite shit. show last year. Oh, yeah, so I enjoyed good. it quite a bit. So good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for Severance, that would have been up there. But. <laughs> there was another show Beavis that came and out like, right when that say. one did, too. That was, oh, yeah, Beavis and Butthead was great. Did you, uh, did you guys check out season two of that? No. No? Yeah, I yet. still got to finish it, man. All of season two is out, so mm. just binge it, man. It's so good. I loved it. I might do that tonight. Uh, but yeah, uh, my week, that's it. I'm going to play video games this weekend. It's going to happen. I haven't played video games in so long. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I binged Severin, or God dang it. I binged uh, uh, Foundation all week. So yeah, I, I want to play some video games. Yeah. Got to. Right on. David, how's your week going, bro? It's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Real good. Yeah, no, like I said, I just, I, I like was reading the crap out of uh, Clash of Kings this week and finally finished that yesterday afternoon. So now I can also play video games. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm, I don't know. You guys have probably beat the Final Fantasy 16 discussion to death already, haven't you? No, we only talked about really one no, episode. I, I'm, not, I'm not all the way done with it. I'm only to like the, times, the last time skip, I think. Oh, okay. See, I'm only 10 hours in. I, I'm level 25-ish. I'm level 25-ish as well. Yeah. And it is, so far, the best game I've played since Elden Ring, probably. It is. It's like, great. Dude. The part... Have you guys it's hard to say powers? anything without spoiling ha- Have it. you guys gotten the lightning powers yet? No. No. no? Okay. So I'm farther than you guys. Yeah. You can say whatever you want. The, uh, the, the last big moment that I saw was the, the Ifrit fight. Okay, the Ifrits. Ifrits. That's the last thing I did. I did that last Bro. night. I did that last night. Yeah. Oh my god! I I I keep seeing these cutscenes, and I'm like, "There's no way they're giving us all the goodies up front." But then every single new encounter is like more incredible than the last one. And mm-hmm. dude, yeah. So I'm I I actually the funny thing is when I got back from vacation, I played the demo, and I was like, "It's really good," but like I don't I didn't ever want to play it for some reason. I just didn't have the drive, even though I wanted to. It is kind of depressing, the game itself. It's, it's, yeah, it some, parts starts, are, some parts are boring as fuck as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I think the part that did it for me was when you actually fight Garuda. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm, dude, I'm in, bro. I'm in 100%. Like <laughs> Stage two of that Garuda fight is insane. Yeah, man. I just yeah. love how her teeth look. Yeah, She's dude. so menacing. Looking, yeah, so yeah. evil. Yeah, yeah I, I love so her dominant is so cool too, Benedicta. Oh yeah, I was so sad about what happened. Yeah, it's like, man, I wish she would have been like the second main villain or something. Yeah. I would have liked to see her more. She yeah. has such pointy, pointy nose and pointy face. And She's yeah. very cat-like. Yeah, yeah. The features. You know, well, it would have also been cool if if there was like a shift in the late game where she joined you, kind of like you know Beatrix in Final Fantasy IX. How That'd be sweet. Later on, and Beatrix is like this horrifying badass villain, and then at the end, she's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll fight with you, whatever." Mm-hmm. But. Anyway, yeah, it's really good. Um, Don't get me started on nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I haven't been watching a lot of TV lately. Mandy and I are almost done. We've been having like a scream marathon. We just watched uh, the one from last year, last night. That one is so good. Like They're all so good. Is dude. that the first new one that they did when they did the reboot? Yeah, well, they, they ended. Four was in 2021. No. Or sorry, three was in two thousand one, and then four was in twenty eleven, and then five was in twenty twenty two. So there was an eleven year jump, and then an eleven year jump, and then five was last year, and six is this year. So now they're kind of like officially. Yeah, Scream Five was good. I'm a I huge fan. I seen six, but I'm a huge fan of five and six, man. I, I need to them. watch them. Gosh dang, I need to watch them. Yeah, yeah, five. Really is so enjoyed them. Good man. I I was afraid because, you know, a lot of times those reboots are like, uh, you know, but. There was a moment where, you know how there's always a character that's like, 
describing, you know, he's like, this is the sequel. So this is how it's going to go. And, and then in the third one, they're like, this is the third part. So they're going to bring back characters from the first one. And they're going to do And it's, they're describing the movie and what's happening in the movie, but they're also describing the cliche that always happens in those kinds of movies. <laughs> and the fifth one does like a similar thing. And there was a part, uh, I wasn't myself when I was watching it and I was like, I like freaked out for a second. Cause I'm like, he's just describing the movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what. It, uh, oh, I'm in a band now, by the way. Oh, you're in a you band. Look no. like you're in a band, what? dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, you need, do you need the Jackson? <laughs> Are you guys called <laughs> Fuck Your Yankee Blue Jeans? No, <laughs> no, we're called Trenchfoot. Trenchfoot. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. brutal. Sounds oh, like yeah. mudcore. That's yeah, like a mud play core. off of like the Dirty Foot and Filthy Foot. That it's, we- <laughs> it's World War II trench core. Uh, no, we we. So it was me and a couple friends had talked about wanting to do a band for a while, and I ended up buying a drum set for like 350 bucks. Then I put an extra like $500 into it because I had to. But uh, as we had a guitarist and a bass player, and then we had a friend that was going to do vocals, but then he pulled some really shady dumb shit, and so we kind of were like, yeah, let's not do that. And then we met a guy at a concert like a month ago from Springfield that his, his vocals are crazy. And he was just like, yeah, man, whatever you guys want, I'm there. So we were like, no way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so then we, we were trying to pick out names and stuff. And we, we came up with a bunch of funny stuff and a bunch of good stuff. And then they all wanted this. They all wanted to call us gray areas. And I was like, I just not feeling it. Yeah. And that's the kind of the reaction. Jackson's shaking his head. The reaction I don't, I don't that like I got the name from gray like areas. everybody I brought it up to. But... Our vocalist actually was the one that brought up trench foot, and I was like, "That has a really nice ring. Like it's heavy and like kind of gross, you know." So, but we're gonna do like a like a tech deathcore, knocked loose kind of fusion sound is what we're trying to do. But nice, kind of how wherever it ends up is. I just want to play a show, man. Like I, I miss playing shows. Can I feet on a song? You know the. <laughs> I bet you want to put them feet on a song. Boy. <laughs> you know, sometimes you'll see someone is like feeding on a song. Oh yeah, like yeah. the like it'll be like Eminem feet ludicrous. He's got some dope shit, dude. You probably want to feed this dude. Yeah, yeah we're good. you you do vocals, don't you? Yes. Yeah, well, that'd be. Fun. He also does some synth stuff. Some synth stuff, sweet. I can do some synth. I need to get. I need an actual keyboard, but. I'm th- I'm thinking about some merch <laughs> like a ch- like like a foot, but like it says trench foot, but it has like a shit ton of toes that, that all have like you know the, the, the letters on them. See, be like twenty toes. When David said that, I instantly thought of like a a really nasty looking foot, you know? Yeah. But like with still part of a jean on the foot, and then you see like bones sticking out of the top, mm. and like zombie kind of looking bones sticking yeah. on the top. Yeah, and then it, and then it would have a tattoo on the side of the foot that says trench foot or something. That would that would be yeah. sweet. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna make a graphic, like for <laughs> this shit, dude. And then our vocalist. I'm gonna make a graphic for the shirt that I want to wear. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm gonna AI generate a we shirt. We were uh, we were at the I'm bar. Li- I'm, li- I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm literally just going to find that exact moment where he puts the fire poker in Adam <laughs> oh, <Taylor's yeah>. foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put that as the main image and then trench foot. <laughs> and on the back, you can just write, you're sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I was going to say our vocalist was like, we, we were at the bar for a friend of ours' bachelor party, and he was like, we should go back and do those like old like scene kid metal shirts with the clay figures and stuff. And I was like, no. No, I refuse. You got to leave the MySpace days yeah. alone, man. The, the raw shirts. <sighs> We're not doing them rower stuff. No. Yeah. But anyways. If I'm feeding, I'm including myself in the we. Dude, so. <laughs> we've got like two songs. I'm, I'm writing one that I'm almost done with. And then uh, our bass player is kind of in the works on another one. And then we just got a USB interface so we can start recording into. I've got pedals if you need to borrow some for anything. Sweet. I've got like, I've got a pretty good amount. No good distortion pedals, but. I've got like whammy, wah, whammy, yeah, uh, <laughs> down tunes too. So the, this is this is uh, a little on the nose, but I I dude, Evil Dead Rise is like one of my favorite movies, and I had to like homage to this movie. So we're gonna do a backing track of 
the song is called Deadite, and the backing, the opening backing track is just going to be like that scene where she's in the kitchen throwing eggs in the pan, and she's talking about crawling inside of her family and shit. So, and then that's one thing that needs to come back from the MySpace days. Oh yeah. Is, Putting movie quotes and TV yeah. show quotes right before a heavy as fuck breakdown. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot of that. So <laughs> Suicide Silence and then on like their first EP a lot. Every yeah. once in a while, like right before like a heavy breakdown comes, it'd be like, I don't know. Tom hey, Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, Psycho is, Frame is, did it too, remember? Did you did you hear that song? Which one? The, the Psycho Frame, the song where he's like it's just like a recording and he's like I want you to remember the way it tasted when you kissed her and then her neck broke, you psychotic son of a bitch, or something like that. Yeah, so heavy. Do you guys remember that song by Imperial? Yes. Where it was the orcs talking? Yeah, where it'd be like, squeal, call for help. Yes, dude. That song was sick. Dude, yes. And with, no one's going to die. (laughs) No one's going to save you now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that sounds dope. I still yeah. think one of my favorite ones is that Chelsea Grin song where it'd be like, okay, kids, it's boner time. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I, I forget which song that actually is. You should is. listen to Gideon's new album that came out with this year. I haven't listened to it yet. Oh it's God. on my list, but it's, I haven't listened to it. It's probably my favorite album of the year. They're going to be playing in Springfield, I think. They just did Tuesday. There my, you go. Our, our vocalist <laughs> went, yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking about going to that show, too. <clears throat> Knocked loose. I'm Two going, months. I still gotta get my ticket, but I am yeah. going as long as, as long as I can still ride with you. Yeah, we're gonna I'll have give like, you a hand ski or something, whatever you want. <laughs> we're gonna have like a party, man. I guess uh, or my bass player and I are gonna go, and then you want to go, and then our vocalist might go too now. So and that's how you're gonna connect with his band. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get <laughs> real close. Yeah, and then you can sell our merch. <laughs> 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 Be their groupie, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> David, David is like, all right, I bore out Jackson. Which one of you wants them next? <laughs> you know you're going to stay up late. Dude, you're going to be like Channing Tatum from This Is The End. Yeah. <laughs> like the, with the luchador I mask. Channing Tate I yum. love you. <laughs> Channing Tate Yum. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was my week. Or last, I guess, month. I haven't been here in a month, so. It's good I to be back. Lo- I love the name Trenchfoot too, dude. That's a good name. Yeah, it is good. What Jackson Week do? Ah uh, man, uh, well I watched all the quarterback. It's fantastic. The last two episodes are pretty mainly focused on Pat Mahomes because that's like his uh, Pat. Your what? Yeah, Patty Mahomes, man. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, the second, and that pretty much just focuses on you know the. AFC Championship and the Super Bowl, and man, it was awesome. I'm like, I'm loving every single second of it. Uh, it's made me hate Brittany Mahomes a little, little bit less, and I'm so glad that there's zero Jackson, Jackson. Mahomes. <laughs> yeah. Like Netflix did a good job of like, nah, we're not putting this little fucker in here. He's the so. one Jackson I don't want any more of. I had <laughs> enough of him. Yeah, every other Jackson I need more. <laughs> I thought this Jackson would be enough. But. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, it's enough. <laughs> but I still want more. <laughs> I, I, I've had about as much as I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone come pick up this Jackson. I <laughs> um, also watched Mission Impossible with Kyle, and it was fantastic. I agree with him. It was a 10 out of 10. Uh you were about that one girl, but I was about, uh, I forget her name. She has a really hard name to say, but she's uh, the girl with like the feelers from Guardians of the Galaxy. Mantis. Mantis. That yeah. was her. The whole movie I kept thinking, who is this? Yeah. I was all about who her is in that this movie, girl? Man. Who is this human being? <laughs> <laughs> she, had, she definitely had like a whole punk rock vibe to her, you know, just like yeah. a hard, she's a hardcore badass throughout the whole movie. Hell yeah. Like, not giving anything away, but at one point, she's choking out uh, Tom Cruise, and the, she's, like, wearing this like wearing this outfit that's showing some skin, and I'm, the way she's choking him out is, like, with her knee, and I'm like, that's the way to get choked out. I kind of yeah. wish I was Tom Cruise right now. <laughs> yeah. You choke me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> me next. Me next. Where's the line? <laughs> 
I, it's not get there it's, early, man. The line <laughs> forms. Dude. It's not harassment day right now, Jackson. <laughs> but you've seen Goldeneye, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. The way yeah. that chick uh, destroys men's ribs. Ooh. I would want some of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a little taste of that. Yeah. Every once, like whenever I rewatch uh, the boys, there's that episode where uh, Pop Claw. Oh, like crushes yeah. that one yeah. dude's like skull to death. And I was like, man, that's a fucking good way to go. Not yeah. a bad, not mm-hmm. a bad way to go. Mm-hmm. Pop, Pop Claw was feisty, bro. Mm-hmm. Love that show. I still haven't seen the most recent season, man. Ooh, it, you're gonna good. have to get on that before the new season comes out. <sighs> yeah, wonder when that is. Yeah, th- did they drop a trailer? Like date they dropped or the anything? teaser. Yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't have anything in it. There's like a Fourth of July thing, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. How was your week, Jackson? <laughs> yeah, what's up with that week? <laughs> I'm talking about it still. <laughs> um, really loving Dragon Ball Z Kai. I started watching that too, man. Good yeah. stuff. Um, I'm at the point where it's uh, Goku versus uh, Captain Ginyu. Okay, brother. But it's got good pacing. It, yeah, the pacing is great. Like, if I were to watch like regular Dragon Ball Z. Like, in these, the same amount of time that I put into Dragon Ball Z Kai, I would probably, like, maybe be right at the end of Raditz. Wait, what's Kai? It's is, basically... Is it like condensed? Yeah, it's a condensed version <sighs> of Dragon Ball Z where they cut out a lot of the filler and a lot of, like, the stuff that doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm about to watch it. Yeah. And I think the footage is slightly enhanced. Yeah, they do enhance some of the stuff, too. How far do they go? It's the full... The DBZ. Entire, yeah, yeah, it's entire. only two seasons, uh, fifty-two episodes a piece. Nice, dude. It's all in English, but so. not, but not super. Like super, is still separate. I super, mean, still separate. But yeah, yeah. See, yeah I've, that's I've awesome. always wanted to show Anakin Dragon Ball Z, but there's so much. Yeah, that it's just, perfect. I hate. Eden's like almost distributing right now in Naruto, because <laughs> I told her I was like, "You like you like Demon Slayer? I watch Naruto." Got to know the roots. Believe it. <laughs> Are you watching the new uh, <clears throat> season of Bleach? That just started? I haven't seen part two yet, man, but... Part two just started. There's uh, Episode two comes out tomorrow. Sweet. Our time. Yeah, Your pro- time, it's already come out. watch both of them tomorrow morning or something. Oh, yeah. I love Thousand Year Blood War, man. Mm-hmm. Like best anime in years. Oh, yeah. So good. Sorry, Jackson. How was your week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why do you keep deflecting your week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Wall Z Kai, what do you guys think about it? <laughs> uh, I also went disc golfing with the boys. Which Android would you guys have sex with? <laughs> what do you guys like to throw? <laughs> My cell phone. <laughs> it's the only one I got. <sighs> DNA on that cell phone there. Uh, no, nah, I also went pregnant. <laughs> also went on disc golfing with the homies. Uh, and I got really close to getting my first stace. Yeah, like you off of a skipper off the chains. Yep. And what's real? What really sucks is like on that same hole, like skipped it right off the chains. And I was like, all right, well, this is an easy birdie. Freaking missed that putt. And I was like, shit, are you kidding me? And then went to putt again, missed that putt. So I like went from an easy <laughs> birdie to a double bogue or some mm-hmm. shit. But I capped it off at a bogue because I was that pissed. At that <laughs> moment, I was so pissed. I was like. It's just a boat. It's just a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Tournament rules. They would have been like, "You're out of here." <laughs> no intimidation. <laughs> Where they kicked that one dude off the tour from. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much been my week, man. It's been pretty cool. Sounds cool. Been real cool. <laughs> you look cool, man. Hey, man, I feel yeah, cool really right now. Yeah, you look like you're. You look like nobody can touch you. You got the style. Yeah, man. Kyle, see if you can touch him. Long sleeve <laughs> jeans. I told you you can't. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it now. Voldemort. I, 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 I was just about to do that to Kyle. I was like, this tree me and you? I can touch you. <laughs> oh, oh. Man. We can touch each other, Jackson. <laughs> Goblet of Fire is still my favorite of the Harry Potter movies. Oh, yeah, I'm a really big fan of Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, I think Prisoner is the best. 
Prisoner is the Actually, Prisoner is the best, it's dude. so good, man. Yeah. Nah, man. It's dude! Goblet of, it's Goblet of <laughs> Fire, bro. It's I Goblet of Fire. <laughs> Did you put your name with the Goblet of Fire? Prison, okay. uh, prison has got, time travel, I've dude. got a theory. Goblet of Fire is the best of the lighthearted Harry Potter movies. Order of the Phoenix is the best dark Harry Potter movie. Because they just get so dark that they almost become unenjoyable. Mm-hmm. But Order of the Phoenix is just so damn good. But it's the first also like adult Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. But I'd say Jackson is right. Goblet of Fire is the best kid Harry Potter movie. Or child, the child version before he fully becomes an adult in a sense, you know. That's like the end of Goblet of Fire is kind of the transition of like the world going yeah. from light to dark. Yeah. But it's also him making the conscious decision like, okay... I just watched a kid die. I've got to grow up. Yeah. Like, this and Voldemort's is real. back now. Yeah. And, like, he's going to try and kill me. Yeah. It's time to it's trade. It's got the Empire yeah, Strikes Back trade. ending, dude. Yeah. Like, where it's like, yeah. oh, the bad guy's back. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. It ends on a downer. Yep. Cedric was frozen in carbonite. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he wins the World Cup. <laughs> Mad Eye Moody. Mad Eye Moody was all, oh, 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 oh. Who's Cedric? <laughs> Is he your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the color palette totally changes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> so, Jackson, what if you were a Bushman? Like an Alaskan Bushman? Like Alaskan Bushman. You know, I was a- living, off of the, living off the land? Maybe being naked running around. In Alaska. With Maybe with a tribe, even. A yeah. tribe? Other bush people. <laughs> Yeah, like, do you have, like, a name that you want to go by while you're in the bush? Kind of like a bush name? <laughs> Lando. Okay. Lando. It's just a one-word name. That's It's probably for the best. I think most of them in the bush, just one That's word. That's how my license will read, Lando. <laughs> <laughs> just one name. Just one fucking name. <laughs> Lowercase L. <laughs> In a period at that <laughs> So where where are you living, Lando? In a bush in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> in an actual bush. I feel, what? Like, I feel like that was fucking obvious, Kyle. What what kind of drove you to the bush? Like what seemed appealing about it? To I'll you? tell you what drove me to the bush, Connor. <laughs> the freaking just the the hectic the hectic sea, that's a word. The how hectic life can be, you know? And so I was like, I'm going to come out to the wild. It turns out it's a whole new different type of hectic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What sort of, like, challenges are you facing when you're I'll, out there? I'll tell you. First day I moved out there, built my shelter, right? And I'm like, all right, I've got my land. This mm-hmm. is my territory here. Mm-hmm. This is your bush. Th- <laughs> yeah. At the end of that day. This is Lando's bush. At the end of that day. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that day, all of a sudden, a squirrel came onto my property. Or it came on, yeah, it came onto it, my territory, you know? On the way in those I, imme- I immediately was like, came on this can't fucking bush. happen. This can never fucking happen. So I grabbed a stick, grabbed a arrowhead that it, I made. You fashioned, yeah. Yeah. And it started whittling me a bit, like making some spears. I was like, I'm going to get this fucking squirrel. Right. Got me a. I don't know, maybe like 10 foot long spear. I, I go big with my spears. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was like Mouse Hunt, dude. You ever see the movie Mouse Hunt? Love it. Like trying so hard to get this squirrel. He can't, like I can never get him. He's taunted me. Mm-hmm. Every every morning I wake up, I see him on the same branch. And he's like, this is his tail, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's doing that thing where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wake up to him. I'm just like, you son of a bitch, squirrel. I'm going to get you. Day 28. Um, (laughs) Day 28, I've got the perfect plan. I'm going to go to that branch where he always hangs out at. And he always wakes me up every single morning. 28 fucking mornings. And I'm going to set up a pendulum on a string. And I am going to shoot the pendulum or shoot the string that's holding the pendulum, and it's going to take out this squirrel. Well, the pendulum flew off the branch and destroyed my tent, so now I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, Squirrel is still at large, and... (laughs) 
Hang on, do you live in I'm a really, tent? And I'm really hungry. I haven't ate all this time. Do you live in a, a tent or a bush and you just call it tent? Like, Or is it a tent that it's you call like Lando's <laughs> bush? I mean, as us bushmen do, we grab a bunch of branches and we kind of like oh, gotcha. crisscross them and stuff, you know, to make like, like a kind of like... Like think yeah. of a tiny amphitheater made out of mm. oh. branches and stuff. So you make like yeah. a little shell type thing. Exactly. Weird. Have you uh, found a mate yet while you're out there in the bush? There's a bear, <laughs> uh, Kodiak, <laughs> that, I mean... What's her name? Uh, Jasmine. But she's, <laughs> I mean, once you, get, once you get past the weight, <laughs> once you get past the weight, she's, she's a good... She's a good listener. I'm sure in the summer months she's slim, right? It's just the winter where she's putting on the pounds, right? She's always putting on the pounds. Oh, okay. What do you like most about Bush, Jack? What do I like most about Bush? <laughs> well, um, I feel like it was Dick Cheney that was mainly in charge. <laughs> and not so much Bush during that time of the administration. Is that why you shot him in the face? I didn't shoot him in the face. <laughs> no, Bush shot Cheney in the face, right? Well, no. in the back of the head. Well, it was, it was Dick Cheney's <laughs> fault for wearing a quail hat. Okay. No, he, Ch- someone Ch- got shot. So if Cheney a, shot somebody else, you know, oh, Cheney shot somebody. Okay. If, <laughs> so if a stranger wandered I into thought, your bush, I thought the president shot Cheney. <laughs> okay. If a stranger wandered into if my a bush, stranger wandered into your bush, what would you do? And is eating them completely off the table? I mean. Not entirely, you know. Gotta I do mean, what you I, gotta do, you know. I have not ate in 28 days trying to catch the squirrel. Like, if someone were to walk into my bush, I might just kill him right then and there without asking any questions. <laughs> and, like, start eating him because, you know, I'm hungry. That's good meat. I'm yeah, really hungry. The lawless bush of Alaska. <laughs> so, Harry Whittington was the Texas attorney. He was shot by Cheney. He survived, right? Yeah, but he's actually dead. He died in February. Okay. At the ripe old age of 95. Get on him. That's a hella old, dude. You think you can buy that rifle that he used? Everything's for sale for the right price. That's true. You got to think someone out there is like, this is like, I went and bought the rifle that shot this dude. Dick Cheney was holding it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to finish the job. Can you can you do like a fifteen second performance of like Alaskan bush music? Alaskan bush music? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have I don't have my tin cans with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got like a uh, an extra long rubber band that is tied to a stick. Like it's kind of like it's kind of like a looks more like a bow. I don't use it as a bow. I just use it as a bam 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 bam. Yeah. Respect. Bong, bong. And I don't have my harmonica with me, but... Harmonica? Yeah. Uh, a harmonica. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Right on. Okay. So, no. Y- That's life in the bush. Connor's kind of got it. <laughs> That's pretty close to my second single that I made. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You guys have obviously listened to it. It was hot. He yeah. even knew that the owl came in because I, I, I had him feet. You know? <laughs> that owl was like, can I feet? I'm like, you can feet. <laughs> Woo-hoo. You guys got any more bush questions? Are you what, made, like? what do you wear out there, dude? <laughs> what do I wear? Well, in the winter, it gets pretty, gets pretty crazy out there. I, I got to kill some some uh, ox and I usually will just wear ox skin I'm not good at curating it yet so it's very fleshy on the inside <laughs> nice but I mean I'm working on it you know you, you come out there you see an amateur right now but in a couple more years you're gonna see a pro just running around naked with like a bloody ox pelt on it <laughs> over your shoulders <laughs> the first thing you're gonna see like on my walkway like into my territory. I'm gonna have like a little stone walkway out there. The very beginning of that stone on this on a pike is gonna be the squirrel head. You guys gonna see <laughs> and, and the little sign that says, Dare ye all who enter. <laughs> right on. 
I mean, I'm good. Yeah. Um, how old do you think you'll live, Bushman? Oh, well, on squirrel, on squirrel Meat alone, you can live to 130. So. <laughs> Minimum. How many kids do you think you'll have with uh, your mate? With Jasmine? Jasmine. Jasmine, yeah. Me and Jasmine decided that we don't want kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Probably for the best. Kids just get in the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she, she's had four cubs of her own, all of them eaten by other alpha males in the territory. And she says, you know what? I just can't go through this again. And I was like, you know what? I'm not looking to have kids at the moment. So let's just call it a halt on that. What do you do to stop the the bugs from getting at you every night? What do I do? We always got a fire going. Usually you get that fire going. You keep that smoke like wafting. (laughs) Oh, okay. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. We don't got bug spray or anything like that out there. Nice. What so, do, do you, have you been making your own candy? Have I been making my own candy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I make peanut brittle because out I know there. You love candy. I make some peanut brittle every once in a while. Um, uh, I make some root beer candies. I make gum. Um, nice. I, um, root beer candies. S- Snickers is pretty good. <laughs> uh, I haven't figured out Reese's pieces yet. Butterfingers though, I make butterfingers. Nerds clusters. I make nerds clusters. <laughs> <laughs> Gop stoppers. When's the last time you took a... When's, when's the last time you bathed? When's the last time I bathed? Lando, yeah. When's the last time you bathed? I thought I wouldn't bathe until I got that squirrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Nice. When's the last time that you felt the warm embrace of a woman, though? Of a woman? Yeah. Well, Jasmine's a woman. I'd say that was probably about, I don't know, probably when, about when I was uh, 12 years old. Mm. Yeah, the babysitter. Mm. Mm, and that is a woman brace. Yeah, she was a be- beautiful, elegant woman. And, uh, yeah, she, she taught me a lot of things. <laughs> like yes. how to use the walker to like get into a certain position. Nice. How have you been protecting yeah. yourself from the sun? How am I been protecting myself? Yeah, it's really hot. I live in the woods. You yeah. jack weed, there's shade. <laughs> jack weed. But there's still yeah. sun. Yeah, there's sun. If you're in the woods, you're in the shade. Mm. There's clearings where I can get sun if I ever want to tan. Okay. Well, I think Lando needs to go home. <laughs> you yeah. think Lando needs to go? Uh, speaking of warm embraces, I recently had a very uncomfortable warm embrace. By yeah. who? Who? who I won't name it? any names because I don't want to alienate this person. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> the person to feel bad. But yeah, it was definitely an unwanted embrace, and it was to the level of um, like borderline sexual <laughs> um, with a woman that was. Uh, Four times, no, <laughs> two, and a half, two and a half times my age. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, you know. Um, at my son's birthday party, <laughs> at my brother's house, man, where I thought I was safe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jackson, if you were shut up to my son's birthday, that could have been you. Yeah. Hmm. So be glad you're not me in that situation, because it it was about three or four seconds too long and way too tight. It was an escalating hug. It went, it went from a full body, it was immediately a full body hug, to just a squeeze, and it was just like, I guess I'm riding this thing out. Like, I would have went with it, man. It was like, hey, you ever been wrecked? <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Reversal. <laughs> you ever been putting a headlock, lady? <laughs> You like nookies? <laughs> Wait like an hour, like show up to her, like come behind her, like at the party, be like, my turn! <laughs> that's what I that's the first thing I would have done. I'd like, ugh, as soon as she started like squeezing me tired, I'd be like, oh, ragdoll! Just pick her up and start. Oh man, it was just weird, man. Uh it was it was a more intense hug than any one of my family gives me. You were that girl in high school, Tara, that would hug you and like claw your back. Horse girl. 
Nah. Job. It was Wiccan. I have to say horse. Nah. <laughs> hey, a horse girl can mean anything. She no, she she no, the, her family legit had horses. Horses. Okay, yeah. Uh, horse girl. And she Everybody she said that girl. on the face. during the summer solstice they would strip down naked and run around on hay bales with broomsticks. It was like a Wiccan thing. Yeah. But she was always like she wasn't like mean or anything. She so I was just always she decent was just a to little her. Weird. And then she would come and give me a hug and like dig her claws into my back and I'm like Ugh. <laughs> cool. Did she I would like, probably actually her pelvis? That, <laughs> <laughs> me personally, I would probably be like, dude, I'm digging the nails on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so Mandy just texted me and I know uh, I don't know, did I tell you guys this before we started recording that a limb fell in the backyard yeah. across yeah. the fence or whatever? So it landed on a power line also, and I was chopping it up, and uh, <laughs> not giving a apparent, fuck. I was chopping it up. <laughs> no, but uh, I guess they called Empire or Liberty. I guess because they were like, we don't know my wife and, and our neighbor, and she's like, I don't know if the the power line is. I don't know what it is or what it goes to, or if it even still running. Uh, and they said that yeah, it's still live and it can admit charge up to thirty five feet. And so she's like, so don't touch it. And I'm like, I already I already did when I was. Packing up the limb, but <laughs> she she like tried to call me twice because apparently like Seventh Street Walmart down there is blacked out and that whole neighborhood is blacked out right now. Dang! I'm wow. like it's 90 degrees and there's like 80 mile an hour straight wind gusts coming up here in like an hour. That's super cool that we're out of power right now. Shit! <laughs> I was hoping Dang. but you'd be like like she said, don't touch it. Be like I already touched it. I put it right in between my legs and I pretended it was my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> now I was shooting electricity 35 feet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Electro. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> bang. Bang. <laughs> you want to get charged up, guys? Like uh, Toby Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you guys want to play a little game? Let's do. Yes. I, this is a true or false fact game. Oh, are we doing that? We're creating a narrative. We're creating a narrative. We all had to write questions, right? Yes. Okay. Shit, I completely forgot about this. Let's keep our own score on our yeah, board. Yeah, write your own score on your board. My name is Charlie. <laughs> I'm the dog from Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joe Dirt. That's Joe Dirt. <laughs> all right, who wants to get us started? Uh, I mean, I don't mind doing mine. Yes, Marker do your first sucks. one. I'm PPOP. You want me to just do one at a time? Yeah, we'll just go on the line. Okay, I guess that would help Jackson, wouldn't it? Well, we should start with someone this doesn't on the even end. Work. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll start. You got another one? I got this. Another one. Okay. True or false? Superman has a Kryptonian panther as a sidekick named Crypto. You said panther? Yeah. Once Jackson finds his marker. Faust. That is correct. Well done. It was false. It, it was, was false. false. It was a dog. Who would have known? <laughs> they start easy. I like the I like your style. I did the same thing. Yeah, can we just write an F or a T to speed it up, like Connor did? Yeah, F or T. It was a lot of downtime. Yeah, don't don't spell out the whole word. Just F or T. Oh, I'm like F or T. What the fuck is F or T? <laughs> you know, it's kind of like effigy, but it's, it's like more we, like an F or T. So we can save time. <laughs> Nefertiti. <laughs> you guys just gonna abbreviate words? Okay. F or T right. sounds like you want to fuck or <laughs> <Right>. something. You <laughs> want something. You with want tea. some T or you want to fuck? <laughs> Which is it? What you got, Connor? All right. Pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That is true. Oh it is God. true. What? If you would have listened to the most recent episode or two or three. We talk about pickleball a lot in this here show. Never played it. <laughs> I've only seen it played. All right. This storm looks crazy, dude. <laughs> it's getting wild out there. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Any what's? Okay. An octopus has seven hearts. Hmm. 
No cheating, Connor. <laughs> True. No. False. False. They have three hearts, don't they? they? Three. Uh, mm. I watched a thing on octopuses last night that said they have three hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you never truly know. How many uh, boobs do they have? As many as you want. Yeah. All them suckers. Yeah. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. There are seven Teletubbies. What's with all these sevens? The one that's all sixes and sevens. Faust. That is correct. There are only four <laughs> Teletubbies. All right. It's my turn. So I'll go. Uh, true or false, strawberries are one of the only berries that are actually berries. Say that again. Strawberries are one of the only berries that are actually berries. Huh. <laughs> Going false? That is correct. They well, are not berries. They're... But bananas are. Oh, <laughs> that's news to me. Wow. Bananas a berry? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. 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 All right. Making eye contact in the restroom is illegal in South Africa. <laughs> Making eye contact in the restroom is illegal in South Africa. <sighs> It is false. Dang. That's Jackson a, pulls ahead. That's one of those ones where I'm like, it just sounds true. Like, <laughs> so stupid, it sounds true. Okay. It's not illegal, but you will get beaten. <laughs> Asphalt is black because they use ashes from oak trees. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Asphalt. <laughs> go, go true. I don't know. It is <laughs> false. Yes. All right. It is a black viscous liquid that they mix in. I, say, I feel like that'd be a lot of work just to make it black. Yeah. I'm shooting a hundred percent today. First All right. Time. I don't have one just pulled up all of a sudden. All right. One pulled up. What's that even mean? In the movie Knock Knock, you get to see Anna de Armas naked. True or false? Uh, I've never seen that. I've never seen it, too. But horror movies have naked people in them, so... Go with false. It is true. You do yes. get to see Anna de Armas naked. Like you know so go right? check that movie out <laughs> if you want to see... Is it just boobs? Yes, and she's blonde. No bush. Shame. I like her more as <laughs> brunette. Hey, don't, no, hair color don't matter. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there. She is boobs blonde. Boobs. Uh, true or false? <laughs> God, I gotta hold my phone. <laughs> uh, Marie Antoinette was the inspiration behind the cultural phenomenon known as cakefarts.com. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> up a true. It was false. It's oh, false. Oh, that sounded <laughs> fun. Connor gets a point. Or Charlie. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Charlie. He's a good young boy. I did not get a point that time. Oh, Charlie. All right. <laughs> Amber Heard pooped on Johnny Depp's bed. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> she fucking did that shit, man. <laughs> yes, All right. she, yes, she so, do. Okay, so she testified under oath. She said she left her dogs on the bed and didn't notice the accident. That is the official word of what happened. I, I guess that would be the first oath. time that somebody lied under oath. <laughs> she was under oath, okay? 
So it's false? I, uh, she pooped that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think so she pooped the loafer. So yeah. are we going with true on that one or what? We're going with true. <laughs> okay. I'm giving myself a point. <laughs> yeah, same. No, I, it's actually, I put it down as a false answer, but. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving myself a point. Because she pooped out of bed. <laughs> well, allegedly. She allegedly, allegedly, allegedly pooped it. I'm taking my point away. She, under I'm oath, yeah, you under know oath she did say that it was a dog yeah, accident. Yeah, yeah. Under oath, multiple that's dogs all on we have bed. to go by. Yeah. Yes. I still think it was her loaf that she pinched, but. <laughs> True or false? Brain. Human skin regenerates every week. But false. False. Constant it regeneration. False. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say. It regenerates every 28 days with an average of 0. 0.001 to 0. 0.003 ounces of skin flakes every hour. Wow. Hmm. How about that? This is just like a whole bunch of yo dudes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All, All right. right. I just had a poop on the bed. <laughs> 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 All right. Here's mine. True or false? The great white shark has the strongest bite force of any animal in the animal kingdom. Bite force is the name of a very winning battle bot. It is true. Dang. And that's because I watch Shark Week. (laughs) Shark Week. It's got 4,000 PSI. Uh, Okay, true or false. D.B. Cooper's case remains today as the only unsolved air piracy case in the history of commercial aviation. True. That is true. Oh. I'm sucking so bad at this. (laughs) Didn't we have a week where, like, somebody got every single one? Was it you that got every single one of them wrong one week? What? Yeah, like, I had, like, I got one one question right, yeah. and I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> Can't be perked every week. Yeah. All right. Chimpanzees like to do it doggy style. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> Chimpanzees like to do it and doggy style. No, they're intimate. They that, like to be intimate. That, that doggy doggy. That is a true... <sighs> Savages back on the board, baby. I guess I'm also a savage, then you know what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) Infants have more bones than adults. You say infants have more bones? (laughs) Jackson didn't even have his down yet. You're flashing over here. (laughs) Well, it it doesn't matter. It's like 50 50. It is 50 50. You say infants have... Repeat the question. Infants have... Infants have have more bones than adults. Okay. True. True. Yeah. It's not 50-50 if you took A and P in college. (laughs) How could I forget? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Y'all ready? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. True or false? Clint Eastwood is in the movie Casper. True or false? It's been so long since I've seen Casper. It's so crazy. It just might be true. True. It is true. Yes. It's in the mirror scene when he's like going crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. His face, his face keeps morphing into like different faces, and one of them is Clint Eastwood. Oh, okay. That makes and sense. The final the one is the Crypt Keeper. Mm-hmm. From- uh, okay. I remember that okay. part. Okay. True or false? Samsung began in Japanese occupied Korea during the 1930s as a dried fish and noodle retailer. I'm ready. Go false. false. That is true. Ooh, true. at least we all put false. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound pretty crazy. Yeah. I was I was kind of shocked when I read it, you know. It was shocking. All right. So, I, being Connor, only watch How I Met Your Father because Valentina is super attractive. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> so that's Connor Hobbs. I only watch How I Met Your Father because Valentina is super attractive. True. Okay, so David gets the point. That's false. <laughs> because I also enjoy Charlie, and I think that he and Valentina should be together. 
Yeah. I was going to say, they can't be the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> but that shows you what these guys think of me. <laughs> You're always ta- t- talking about getting your Mac on, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh. Metaphorical Mac. I want to get my brain Mac on. <laughs> Monkeys were the first organism, mammal, animal thing to go to the space. Monkeys. Whatever you call that. I call that falls, man. I call that bullshit. <laughs> it was fruit flies. <laughs> what, really? <clears throat> I was expecting like a dog. Insectoids. <laughs> where they you said mammal, from, not insectoid. <laughs> Okay, here's one. The guy that drew the sketch in Titanic was actually James Cameron. Mm. True or false? I I know I, I read this true. once, but I can't remember. It is true. Is true. it nice? Yes. I was about to give myself a point. First. <laughs> that was so I read good. somewhere. <laughs> that was a good question, Jay. Give yourself a point. <laughs> Uh, okay, true or false? Before the seventies, children were not permitted to wear shorts in public schools because often they would they wouldn't wear underwear. So when they pooped themselves, it would just fall right out of the shorts. Huh. I thought he was gonna say is because like it was getting some of the adults all ornery. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you see that kid over there? <laughs> uh. Going with true. Go with that's false. false as hell. <laughs> Go with true as well. Damn it, Dude, I, to do I know true. a lot of kids that should have been wearing pants. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that was a good one, David. All right. Dominic Toretto has the same powers as Captain America. <laughs> true or false? Repeat the question. Dominic Toretto has the same powers as Captain America. <laughs> Okay, that is true. And if you look at it, enhanced strength beyond what a normal human can do. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Uh, he's got advanced leadership and planning ahead. He mm. always plans ahead. Brilliant tactician. But also the key part here is the angles. How Captain America can throw his shield and hit any angle to in, in order to <laughs> do whatever. He does the same thing but with his car. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my point that I was gonna get. But I disagree because Dominic Toretto can still get drunk. You know? The metabolism. There's no, there's no proof that he's ever drunk in any movie. He does drink Coronas. That's but just true, because you yeah. drink a beer doesn't mean you get drunk. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dominic Toretto. And who started Race Wars would. anyway? <laughs> well, don't get me started. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> nah, never mind. Uh, we okay. invented it. <laughs> True or false? Modern space shuttles. Wait, 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 isn't skipping, it? Oh, I'm so sorry. Me. I don't know what, what you're doing, boy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cheese is the most popular pizza topping in the U.S. Cheese. Cheese. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Gum false. I'm going truth. True. It is false. Pepperoni. Tell me what Pepperoni it is. takes it. Really? Pepperoni? Pepperoni over cheese? Pepperoni, did, baby! Do you guys not see pepperoni Get pizza? Get out of here. Oh, did you every... say, wait, did you say pizza topping? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. They would have to specifically order a cheese pizza for you to be right. And everybody orders pepperoni. I thought I was competing with, like, every single topping, like... Oh, by portion? Like, whipped cream, ketchup, mustard... Pizza, pizza sauce, <laughs> like any any kind of sauce. So, I I, I, didn't, I didn't hear just pizza. So my bad. I was thinking of all for all foods across the board. Well, you're uh, okay. wrong, Jackson. You're Your close. Turn? Very close. It's, yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Okay. Come on, boy. Read it, boy. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Right now. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. NASA shows the film Armageddon to their management during training programs. New managers are given the task of trying to spot as many errors as possible. At least 168 errors have been found. 
There's a lot of things in there that could be. Yeah, a lot of hiccups, a lot of yeah. pain points. I'll go true. But I'm going to say true. It is true. Hell yeah. So true or false, modern space shuttles are designed to withstand up to 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit in order to withstand the friction heat generated when it re-enters our atmosphere. 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, sure with the camera my I, answer all so day. wait okay wait a second does that if if it if i want to say that it's engineered to go higher than that would i answer that true or false that would also be true so okay t's we got t's everywhere yeah here. that's right well done well done <laughs> top scores <laughs> top marks all around <clears throat> Okay, good luck with this one. When ice cream melts in your mouth, it also melts away the pain. (laughs) Mm. Mm. Bold. That is true (laughs) for anyone that's ever eaten some ice cream while really sad. (laughs) That is that's bullshit. But it's also true. It's also true for pain. You know, I've had ice cream. Whenever I had my foot ran over. And my foot still hurt like a motherfucker afterwards, so I am in... Con- I feel like that was all in your head at that point, though. <laughs> the ice cream did its job. You just weren't listening. <laughs> I feel like these are opinion-based answers now. Just let the ice cream touch your heart, Jackson. These are not true or, f- true or false <laughs> answers. These are clearly true and false answers, Jack. You're, uh, hey, you're the one that didn't come prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, these are all easy. They're all easy. Hawaiian pizza... <laughs> Comes from Canada. <laughs> Sounds true to me. Trickery. True. Canadian That's some bacon. Bullshit. Canadian bacon. God dang it. Yeah, it's it was right there the whole time. You Connor's guys just didn't want to listen. On his toes, man. With his bros. <laughs> <laughs> on my toes, my bros, <laughs> chilling with my hoes. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. It's my turn now. Okay. It's Jackson's turn. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Ketchup is the best thing ever. True or false? No, that's not real. Already, that's just another I opinion know based the thing I was throwing out there for laughs. You said <laughs> I was going to say true because I think it hell. is true for you. I was going to say yeah. false because it fucking sucks. But See, yeah, I think it's Jackson. You no yeah, I think it's Jackson ans- is asking the question, though. You're telling me that you go to McDonald's and you get a large fry and you don't eat it with ketchup, though? No. Oh, dude. Give me a bucket. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat so much I puke in it. (laughs) Okay, here's the real one that I'm going to do. Tom Hanks got paid $750,000 for the film of Forrest Gump, which made millions and millions in the box office. Go false. It is false. Mm. He actually was not paid for the film, and instead he just... Uh, took percentage points for the movie, which actually netted him about forty million. Holy, dude, that's, about that's right. crazy! Can't do that for movies now. Okay, true or false? Medically speaking, the ideal poop is one that is a long, continuous log that sinks to the bottom of the toilet. Hmm. That true. is true. Yeah, T trues. We're all aiming for that perfect shit. <laughs> You ever get proud of one? I I do. I was every once in a while. I'll drop a massive log, and I'll be like, "Man, good job on you." So it's always, yeah. Never mind. I'm not gonna get into that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Women only like guys that are rugged. Women only like guys that are rugged. If you. If you dispute this, I'm going to have something to say. It is false, correct. Right, why? Uh, because while ruggedness does help, being yourself and being confident are what really <laughs> women are attracted to. I was going to say girls don't like boys it, at all if they like cars and money. That's what I was yeah. going to say. Well, it also depends on how big your pocketbook is. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. How good your manners are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me? Yes. Me, 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 me. Hmm. 
Sunglasses are so old. <laughs> Damn it. Can't do it. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, How old are they? <laughs> <laughs> Every golf ball has the same amount of dimples. Um... Ready. True. True. I put false. That is false. What? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Golf balls. No golf balls have between three hundred and five hundred dimples. Mm. Trash. That's cheating. <laughs> All right. Kate Winslet on the set of Titanic. As so soon as she hot. met Leonardo DiCaprio, flashed her titties at him. <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's false. It is true. What? Yeah. It is true, dude. I wish I was Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> After finding out she had to be naked in front of Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet decided to break the ice, and when they first met, she flashed him. Excellent. Good on you, Kate. Yeah. I like her even better. I love you, Kate. <laughs> okay, true or false, Final Fantasy VII was the first Final Fantasy game not to have been published on a Nintendo console. First. But these for true. true. This is true. <laughs> yes, gives me some points. I was really nervous there. I'm like, man, did they break it off at like four or five? <laughs> like, but yeah, I was pretty sure it was seven. Okay. Superfood is a made-up term to sell bad-tasting vegetables. <laughs> Say that again. Superfood is a made-up term to sell bad-tasting vegetables. <laughs> we all know that. We all know that is true. true. You know? It is true. <laughs> Con artists. <laughs> it's a superfood. Wheatgrass. Super <laughs> Wheatgrass. <laughs> <laughs> You want to try some of this seaweed, man? No. <laughs> it's a superfood. <laughs> All the kings in a standard deck of cards have a mustache. All the kings? Uh, I know that I know the jacks don't, but I don't know that the kings. See, there's a They all look different. Okay. The, the bicycle cards. Bicycles. All right. I got. I'm going false. I'm going to go false. Uh, it is false. It. The King of Hearts does not have a mustache. I, I thought it was. He's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I had him pegged as a mustacheless freak. <laughs> <clears throat> In John Wick Chapter 2, Keanu Reeves was able to perform all the stunts without the use of a stuntman. True or false? True. False. False. Damn. He was able to do 95% of them, but there was 5%. He no, was no, 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 no. He's all it. talk. <laughs> it's either In all or nothing. City, you will come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, true or false. Adult admission to Disney World originally cost only $10 when Magic Kingdom first opened in 1971. I'm going to say false because I think it was cheaper than that. It was three fifty a ticket. Oh, boy. Jackson well done, making Jackson. a late comeback. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm all done now. That's all ten questions? For him, yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Six people were hospitalized during Hands Across America when a drawbridge was raised for a passing boat. Six people were hospitalized during Hands Across America when a drawbridge was raised for a passing boat. I love, I just love the sound of it. I'm going to say, I'm going to say true. Fucking awesome. It's, it's false. Oh, I made it up. <laughs> So I love awesome. it though. Well, that sounds like, I love that that sounds like a legit news story headline, dude. It sounds <laughs> awesome, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be a short film I create later on this year. That's six people, crazy. six stories. <laughs> One event. Wow. Um, the Golden Gate Bridge is golden. 
Pony Boy. False. False is false. false as everyone says false. Uh, no one, no one that is it. false. All right. <laughs> it is Tennessee orange. I've seen Spider Man. I know what color it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the movie Interstellar, Christopher Nolan actually grew 500 acres of corn for the movie Man of Steel and Interstellar. Hmm. He didn't grow that corn. He did grow that corn. No for interstellar. <laughs> he I not for Man of Steel. He himself grew the corn, <laughs> and he was able to sell it afterwards and actually made a profit from doing so. Wow. He did it for both <laughs> movies. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Where's everyone's scores at? I had 14. Even 20. I have 21. It's <laughs> <laughs> 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. Slime. The, the guy who wasn't prepared. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys want to go ahead and move into Yo Dude. Check this out. Yo Dude. All right. Yo Dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo Dude. <laughs> who wants to get us started off? Uh, all right, go ahead. I'll start it off. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. Whenever they were uh, filming uh, Game of Thrones and they were trying to come up with the costumes for the, what are they called? The Night Watch? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that what yeah. they called? They just used old, dirty rugs from Ikea, like super cheap rugs. Mm-hmm. And that's how they use, that's what they use to make costumes. False. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, yo, dude, check this out. Um, this thing called the Waveline Magnet. Um, we're going to post a link in the video. So if you want to check out this other video about this, it's pretty cool. Um, it's called the Waveline Magnet. It's a. Uh, it's made by a company called C-Wave <laughs> Energy Limited or Swell. Um, it's taken them like 10 years, but it's a way for um, people to harness the energy cre- like created by a wave and also like like not only like the the energy on the top of it, but also the current that's rushing through it. Um, so they can it like uh, it looks like a giant snake. It mm-hmm. looks like a snake that's made out of like blinds, but it's like huge. That's like, sick. Uh, I guess like the big one that they're talking about making that could like produce as much as like a power plant would be uh, twenty four meters wide and six hundred meters long. It's like insanely huge as far as like the big one, but it, it can pressurize seawater to harness the raw power of the wave and either create electricity, desalinate water, or store hydrogen within its body. Holy so crap. it's like it's got a lot of stuff that it can do in like desalinating water yeah. at one third of the cost of it, how much it costs now. That's like electricity deal, wise. Dude. Yeah, and like California needs that shit, and yeah. I'm sure a lot of like they were saying like a lot of islands could like have this as like a lifeline to have power. Oh, we're we're all gonna need it in 50 years, man. Yeah. yeah, and you know that'd be a good way. Uh, you know, with the rising tides, desalinate that water, get in into the mainland, take it out of the ocean a little bit. You know that would be helpful. So, yeah. pretty cool. Yo, dude, check this out. <laughs> The term bug in electronics was popularized when a Harvard University programmer in 1947 couldn't get a function to run despite checking every possible technical issue he could think of. It turns out that, I guess back then when they made computers, you know how like on a circuit board there's like the little silver lines where this, you know, that's how electrical signals travel? They used to just be these huge vacuum tubes. There'd be like a whole room made out of them. And uh, a moth got into one of those vacuum tubes and blocked the signal, and it wouldn't run the program. So, okay, yeah, they That's found crazy. it in there. And I've seen like people try to start up like those really old computers, like back in the day, like I think it was like the sixties or something like that. It was literally like running up an engine, you know, trying yeah. to start like a train engine. That's crazy. That the first bug was a bug. Yeah, a literal, literal bug. bug. <laughs> wow. That is wild. Yo, dude, check this out. The streets of ancient Rome had (laughs) jars along the roads for the soldiers to walk up and relieve themselves. They would then collect that pee and 
use it to like clean the clothes and launder the clothes and brush their teeth with it yeah and the trade was so lucrative that the <laughs> emperor actually taxed the urine they collected oh, that's so nasty Isn't that dude? crazy People so, so they weren't pooping in them then Mm-mm, okay. just pee okay so i'd take a dump in one of those things <laughs> Why would he ever like be good Dude, for? It's and it so smells insane. so bad after a while too. Like if it just sits there, <laughs> it's not sterile anymore. You know. I bet everybody's walking around smelling like piss. Yeah. yeah. People used to brush their teeth. Like that. It's making me it's want to brush my teeth. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. Well, uh, David, he has been on episode ninety-five of Crashing with Friends. Ooh. Always a pleasure. <laughs> a good pleasure. Hell yeah. Trying to make it more frequent. It's been uh, it's been busy, crazy busy hey, last man. month or so. Whenever you can come is always yeah. a good time. It's been nice we having you it. back when you are here, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed what you've seen. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, this episode will self-destruct in three seconds. Two. One. Crashing with friends. Podcast.